everybody, Wanna Weezum here. We just opened up our first ever Skylanders Imaginator Sensei and we went with Chaos, standalone that is, these two came from the starter pack. And you might be asking yourself, how does one follow up Chaos? What can we do? I've got a couple of choices here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just go in my order of appeal. Uh, unless, of course, people start commenting on these videos, bear in mind I may have already recorded some you haven't seen, but I'll try to accommodate what you want to see if you're just crankcase, 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 and that's what I see in the comments or on Twitter or the forum or my website, I'll go ahead and do crankcase. Otherwise, I'm just going to progress as I would naturally through them. And I think a great follow-up, this is a character just like Chaos, I've wanted I've wanted Chaos' figure the longest because he's been the villain. Uh, I did not know of some of these other villains until other games. That said, uh, at E3, for Trap Team, the big rave, everyone was pushing Peñata, right? It's like, oh, Peñata's so cool, you're gonna love Peñata. I'm like, yeah, Peñata's cool, but this Wolfgang guy, tell me more. <laughs> and uh, since then, he has been, I have to say, my favorite villain. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, we just got uh, got some action there, Scholars of Wisdom coming out. So uh, lots of comments, lots of stuff going on here in the Skylanders universe. What we're going to follow it up with, needless to say, is Wolfgang. We're going to go ahead and have him free uh, so we can check out Dark Wolfgang. Hopefully on Sunday I'll be able to pick that up. But uh, right there you can see he's a Sensei Skylander, the Imaginator's logo. We'll get a better look at him once he's out of his packaging. Wolfgang, if you didn't know, Undead Elements. And obviously, he's a bow slinger. Makes sense given his harp, right? Uh, side panel here, you sort of got, you know, the Wolfgang pose cut away with the side profile so you can see in on the actual figure. That's really cool. Uh, coming around to the backside, bring the Skylanders to life. No chaos there. Uh, pay attention to my chaos unboxing. Very nice, subtle touch. There's our, ooh, yeah, inset box art for Wolfgang right there. Uh, Sensei Skylanders unleash almighty Sky Chi powers. Unlock unique gear and weapons for your Imaginators. There's over 30 to collect. Also featured Ambush, Airstrike, Barbella, Ember, Magic Air, and Earth Creation Crystals. So when we unbox these, there's two things we need to do. We need to come in on the side. There's just a folded over, you know, sort of like tape dot, if you will. That may even be the correct terminology if not it should be because that's what it is it's a circular dot with adhesive on one side uh, these are extremely well done the top of these awesome uh, it's something uh, you can appreciate it here but in person you're really really going to be impressed by this when i took the starter pack out of the box this was just like the holy grail was in front of me you saw just literally nothing but the tops of these boxes and it looked amazing bottom not as much to see undead logos that's a nice touch but uh, this top side is cool now if you don't want to open this if you're limited budget and you're like man i really want to have that on a shelf in the box but i really have to play as wolfgang too that's what you can do. This isn't an Amiibo. We don't have Nintendo putting cardboard and foil down there. Uh, these will read through the packaging just fine. Take advantage of it. Enjoy it. Open this carefully, mind you. Uh, you can actually kind of see the Undead logos there. Let's go ahead and open it like so. Slide it out the top. Now, Chaos made one heck of an interest. Well, I could see Wolfgang doing that, too. But uh, here he is in the packaging. No stickers, no stats, no card, no battle cast card. Nothing in that regard, which is kind of sad. I would have loved to have personally seen a battle cast stat card hybrid, which at a later date, the battle cast side could be implemented into the game. But uh, not in the cards, I suppose. So, ha! Ha! <laughs> you see what I did there? Not in the cards. I didn't even realize it until I said it. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead. Uh, the strategy here, we just bend that at 45 and then here at 45. I'm going to hold him by his face. Wow. Yeah, there we go. So these are a little bit more difficult to open. And plus, I'm used to the Amiibo. Which, to the Nintendo's credit, if you do actually open Amiibo, they, they come out real nice and easy. Uh, these things might be, if you're like, I just want to pull them out for a picture and then put them back in. Wolfgang might not be the ideal character for that. <laughs> so we will see. Oh, that base is amazing. Okay, I predicted the undead base would sort of be like, you know, the traditional gray, the ethereal, basically what you see here on the packaging, right? 
around Wolfgang. By the way, a slogan, let there be rock. I don't think we covered that. But what it is instead is this really, really cool. It's almost like, I would call it like a sinister cobalt. If we were painting a car in that color. Uh, it's got a little bit of like, I think a metallic to it. But it's it's like a it's like a blue gray with an ethereal green, if that makes any. It's just really sweet looking. Obviously, he is a bow slinger. That is his battle class. Uh, there you see the undead logo on the base. This is cool. Uh, also of interest around bow slinger, since it is undead, you sort of got like the bat wings on the sides, uh, and it's actually a pillars there as well. On the back, it just goes around, you know, we don't have the elemental logo there. Ooh, that looks so realistic. We don't have, you know, like a battle class or an element or anything. That could have been something they did. You know, like here on the front, we've got the circle for Bow Slinger. They could have replicated that on the back side where that parting line is and uh, sort of had undead. Not necessary, but it would have been an option. But again, nice little bat wing detail. Again, picture each of these ridges sort of as like a focal point for the wings to flap. Let's start on the back here. He's got the classic black rock pants. <laughs> and then he's just obviously, you know, exaggerated upper body torso, if you will. He's got the spikes on the back. Ooh, sharp. <laughs> and uh, coming around, it's almost, it's like a matted fur that you would like. If we were to come up on a werewolf, you know, out in the forest, this is kind of what you'd expect to see. Obviously, it doesn't have the texture or anything. Now, facially... Some people are probably going to condemn this. Note that it's like a black eye. It just looks like an oil spill or tar. If you've never shot a bow, if you've never shot a gun, you know, what you do, you don't use both eyes and look down the barrel and through the sides. You have to, you know, kind of do this pose with your face. Go ahead and pretend you're shooting a bow and you'll probably enact this naturally. I could see some people sort of being sad about that or complaining a little bit about the paint. I don't think it's too big of a deal. You could easily draw in an eye, but then it wouldn't be as cool because, let's face it, he's super aggressive and the bow is drawn. He's not going to draw it. He's not sizing someone up to see if he needs to draw it. This thing is locked and loaded. All he's got to do is release that, and this bone arrow is going to go flying. So uh, something really cool is the chain band. It sort of ties in with like a junkyard dog, werewolf, rocker type theme, so they did very nice there. Uh, is that an undead logo? Yes, the belt buckle, you can't really tell, particularly with my lighting, but the little bump that you see right there, the sort of circular piece elevated above, that is in fact like a buckle, but it's a skull, which is really cool. I've got to say, that looks incredibly sharp. It's sort of like a Trojan helmet, you know, axe grinder type of a thing. But the cool thing here, if you haven't noticed, this is a bone, obviously, that he's holding. Very sharp fingernails there, too. Look at the detail. Very, very cool. Uh, but you've got sort of like the classic cartoony bone. Then you've got the skull etched in on this side. Uh, you've got, uh, again, kind of like the axe grinder here. Uh, you've got the strings. You've got the arrow pulled back. I think they did a pretty good job with this. Again, it might it possibly could have been a little brighter, maybe done something different facially. But to have this aggressive of a pose, that's what you need to complement it, in my opinion. Had they have just drawn him, posed him with the bow at his side or the harp at his side standing forward, yeah, both eyes would be open. But this is unique because it's such an aggressive pose, which is really cool. And again, these wider, longer, larger footprint bases allow that to happen. Uh, the teeth, very, very cool, very well done. The tongue, <laughs> it's uh, the black on the face. It looks worse from this side, and yet from this side, it looks pretty good. I think the lighting has a bit to do with it and just the eye really. And that's a lot of black in one area. But overall, I think it was uh, pretty well spot on for Wolfgang. And again, it's the trade-off you make with special poses. So we got to keep that in mind. That said, what we want to do again, his slogan, let there be rock. We want to come in and read his bio. Wolfgang wasn't always a werewolf. He was once a handsome, brilliant musician let me keep that. Again, these are just so awkward to turn. <laughs> it's a handsome, brilliant musician set to marry a beautiful princess. Before the wedding, he planned to unveil his ultimate symphony to all the greatest music aficionados in Skylands, convinced they would love it and instantly hail him as the best composer ever. 
but they didn't. They hated it, and even worse, it actually hurt to listen to. He had unintentionally discovered the musical note for pain. Being shunned like this drove Wolfgang utterly and completely mad, physically transforming him into the werewolf he is today. With the princess no longer wanting to marry him, he turned to a life of crime, terrorizing the royal subjects and using his evil music as a weapon. The Golden Queen, dun dun dun, dun so cool to have them in hand finally, not just some trap, took note of this, see what they did there, took note, and realized that Wolfgang could make a powerful ally if she could control his rage and keep him in line. But when they were both captured by the Trap Masters, Eon gave these two supervillains a choice. Either go back to a newly reformed Cloudcracker prison, which Chaos broke them out of, or become Skylander senseis, teaching a new generation of Imaginators their formidable battle skills, as well as how to stay clear of a life of crime. They accepted the deal, but first had to prove themselves by rearranging all the books in the Academy's library, a task which took almost two years. Almost driving Wolfgang mad again. Love that they added that in there. But he got through it and realized he could learn earn more respect as a sensei training the Boslinger class than he ever could as a musician. Pretty accurate statement there, I would say. Now also note, this is a very cool texture feel here if you haven't experienced that. Uh, the feet just sort of wrapped out, kind of faded in black, uh, but it works. I'm excited to see his dark edition in comparison to this. Now, if you look at this, this is pretty accurate for what they did here. It's just on a larger scale and with more vibrant colors, that looks a lot better. Uh, but again, it's a trade-off you take with the aggressive pose, and I'm willing to accept it because, again, it's just such a cool and unique pose. That said, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. If you're already a scholar of wisdom, that's great. If you're not, check the description box down below to learn some more. But everybody can get a bonus brick here. Comment with hashtag Wolfgang. That will get you a bonus brick in the wall of wisdom. More information on that, again, down below in the description box. This is a great time to join the Skylander Club forum, skylanderclub.com. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter, my website, oneofweasem.com. We're going to be cranking out unboxings, gameplay, probably some live streams, all kinds of good Skylanders Imaginator stuff coming your way. So I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, please feel free to spread the word on the channel. Uh, I fight the system. I am not partnered with a third party, uh, machinima, etc., none of that stuff. Uh, just kind of do it on my own, and then I get cross-promoted over by those people that join said third party partnerships so i'm sort of grassroots again i've been here since day one of ssa uh, i've been doing this as long as anybody i've probably accumulated more playtime than uh, the vast majority of skylander people but uh, your support means a lot and uh, please feel free to spread the word on the channel that said for myself and wolfgang let there be rock let there be imaginators i will catch you back here at the pool table for our next skylanders imaginators unboxing